everybody. Welcome back to On Today. Hunt my D. Today's expression with me, Coach Shane. Thank you for joining me. We've got a nice, lovely expression today. Well, it's not that lovely, I guess, but it's a good expression. In Korean, you say, Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, is it good? Is it bad? It seems to be good, but I'm not sure. In one word, what can we say? 한 단어로 이거 어떻게 해요? 의심스러운. Questionable. Questionable. Yeah, the uh, it's questionable. Questionable. Question able. Well, let me write it down for you. It's a pretty simple word. Question A B L E. Put you in there. Just add A B L E, and you got questionable. Okay. Pronunciation. No tricks here. Que que. Make sure you say ke. No. Que question chin 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 question. It's similar to chin. Questionable. Questionable. This is a schwa sound. Questionable. 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 I told you not too long ago that my age is 29 years old. What? You say that that is questionable? You doubt it? You don't think my age is 29? You think I'm lying? Well, you're right. I am lying. My age is not 29, it's 31. What kind of 31 year old guy has balding hair? Yeah, well, questionable. Questionable. Hmm. That guy, he always acts like he's very rich, like he knows everything. But I think his money, his knowledge, it's questionable. I doubt it. I don't believe it 100%. It's questionable. Hmm, it's questionable. It's a good word. And if you're a skeptic, if you like to doubt things, I, I'm, I keep saying the word doubt. I know some of you might not understand. Doubt. There's no B sound. Doubt. In Korean, you can write it like this. Doubt. Something like that. Doubt. Doubt. I doubt it. I don't believe it. Uh, it's questionable. It's a good word. And I have a dialogue today. It's, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Some of you might have a problem with it. Are you ready? Here we go. Hey, uh, what do you think of his class? Well, it's fun, but his ability is questionable. Why do you say that? He always makes grammar and pronunciation mistakes. Sacre bleu, that is not good. If you are teaching an English class and your grammar and your pronunciation mistakes are very common, that is not good. We must change teachers. <laughs> the problem is, how do you as a student know when the teacher has bad grammar or bad pronunciation? Very difficult for you. So, my recommendation is to keep taking my class where my grammar is perfect and my pronunciation is perfect. What? Did you say questionable? No, I hope not. Let's look at the dialogue here. What do you think of his class? Do you like his class? What do you think of his class? Is it, is it a good class? Did you like the class? And the friend says, well, it's fun, but his ability is questionable. Well, the class is fun. We have a good time. We laugh, we talk, it's, it's nice. The environment is nice. But his ability, his talent, his knowledge is questionable. I'm not sure about his ability. It's fun, but I don't know about his ability. Is he really a good teacher? Am I really learning properly? Hmm. So the guy asks, 
Why do you say that? Why do you say that? Why do you think so? What makes you think so? Why do you think his ability is not that good? And the final answer, he always makes grammar and pronunciation mistakes. He always, nul hangsang, every time makes mistakes. Makes mistakes. To make mistakes. Shirsuada, to, to, to make problems. What kind of mistakes? Makes grammar mistakes and pronunciation mistakes. He always makes grammar and pronunciation mistakes. Mm. That's not good. That's not good at all. Well, I guess it depends on what type of English you're learning, but uh, I think we can agree, preferably, hopefully, in the best situation, your teachers will have proper grammar training and will also have proper pronunciation. But I know it's tough. It's really tough, especially if you're a foreign person teaching English. You just got to do your best. You got to keep learning and you got to keep practicing, okay? So, so I hope that you have that in mind and I hope that you continue listening to my classes here. And uh, if you have money, you can send it to me or of course you can register for my classes too. Once again, it's a, it's a great expression here, questionable. Hmm. And we almost always use it when we talk about someone's ability or someone's record or even someone's resume. Wow, look at his resume. It says here, he went to Yale University, then he went to Harvard Law School, no, 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 Harvard MBA, and then he got a, a Stanford a degree from Stanford University, a doctorate degree in uh, technology. And uh, then he worked for IBM for 16 years. Then he worked for Google for eight years. And he's only 22 years old. This is very questionable. Very, very questionable. Perfect situation, okay? Well, it's a questionable word today. And I hope that you can find some situations where you can use the word, hmm, it's questionable. Have a great day. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.